Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also gonna get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're gonna do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely, our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down, you'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. South African court finds Zulu's king crowning unlawful. King Misuzulu's claim to the throne was challenged in Pretoria High Court by his half-brother, Prince Simakide Zulu, who says he is the rightful heir. The late King Goodwill died in 2021, sparking a vicious power struggle between the brothers for the throne. This throne has been controversial for a while now. Ever since the King Goodwill passed away, there has been a power struggle. And I remember when King Zulu was crowned, there was a lot of backlash from a side of his family that wanted his brother to be crowned. There was drama when one member of the Zulu royal family, I think it's Prince Chogozani, who basically stood up after the reading of the will and asked that he says something. He was asked to sit down by Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi, who is the traditional prime minister of the Zulu nation, as well as Unzungkulu Kwabini, that is Mavis Zungu, Queen Mavis Zungu. Unzungkulu Kwabini is the king's surviving mother. She was married to the late king's father, that is King Begu Zulu. So what you see now is Prince Misuzulu's security. He is inside that door, and I can tell you that it's tense. The issue of succession was bound to create this chaos and this confusion. Kanyiso is doing all he could to ensure that everything is in order. As you see police officers moving in here, I can hear guns being uh, taken out. And I can tell you that right now everything is just chaotic in and around here. As some mem family members, as it was clear that some family members were attempting basically to arrest the as Kanye so is showing you, look at those high caliber rifles there. Anyone who attempts to enter Wapagela Matangani Royal Palace is being told not to come. And I can tell you that security is really tight here. Security is tight. And I can tell you that tensions are running high. There was even a point where there was reports that he was poisoned, but he came out and said he is alive and well. So this situation has been quite controversial. And now the courts deciding that his crowning is unlawful is a big one. But Ramaphosa's office responded to this and his office, which is President Cyril Ramaphosa's office, they said that they will appeal against a court ruling that his crowning of the new Zulu king was unlawful and invalid. Basically, the president is saying, I did not make the wrong decision. The crowning was lawful and if need be, we're going to appeal this. So we're going to see what is going to unfold because as of now, it's King Zulu that is crowned and he is at least acting as the king. So what does this court's ruling mean? Does that mean now his brother has a chance of taking the crown or the South Africa's president office? What they're claiming is that they're going to appeal. If they appeal, what is going to be the result? It's definitely interesting. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.